Good morning, fans. Prevtier FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday. Very light calendar here in Europe. Uh, we've got Canadian CPI today and durable goods later, which will cause a stir. But otherwise, incredibly quiet markets here. Let's have a look at Euro. Just sitting here around doing nothing. Traded up to 33 overnight. Um, that was probably Euro Yen and some Euro Yen stops above. Really just dead, dead quiet cable. Same thing on 2730. Just sitting in this sort of 90, 40 range now for a day and a half or so. Dollar Yen equally as boring. Uh, we traded up to 71 at the fix yesterday. That just closed the gap. That was kind of neat. Um, but otherwise, just kind of doing nothing here. Down to 28 in the overnight. and Dicking around here at 50. Gold, same song. Not doing anything. Bring up Euro Swiss because we talked about uh, being long Euro Swiss. Still believe this is the right trade. We did buy some yesterday at 50. Um... Just kind of, this is post Jordan down to 32. He was not dovish. But even though he was not dovish, it didn't really like it down there, right? So here we are back at 77. This gets interesting if we can get back above 94.40. I think it gets very interesting. Um, nobody has this. I guess you could say nobody has it because nobody trades Euro Swiss, but the market is. It, the positioning is quite clean. Nobody's expecting this. It's quite an interesting daily bar there. It's quite bullish. Um, but again, if you just look at the bigger picture, uh, there's no inflation in Switzerland. There's certainly not going to be in a rush to raise rates any further. And just seem to be some very, very strong hands down there at 96.75. So I don't think this is going to run away. But I do think this can float back up to one double O. Uh, so long, long Euro Swiss makes sense to us. As far as anything else, uh, not too much going on. Let's just look at some of these CAD crosses and, and CAD. The market's expecting this to come in pretty hot, right? CAD's been bid over the past few days. Um, we talked about it a couple of days ago when we tried to get short CAD. Um, up at 132.30. We're now 131.30. Um, actually, that was 133.30 the other day. We're now 200 points below. We're at the lows, basically, of the year. Um, the risk is this does not come in hot, uh, and this reverses. So I don't know if you're if you're feeling frisky. I think you can fade dollar cat in Europe. Especially if you get down to 131, the figure with the assumption that we might go into this number at 131.30. And then if we're going to the number at 131, you kind of have to square it. But if you have 30 points in the money, you can actually you can leave a proper stop um, in dollar CAD. Otherwise, you just kind of have to wait. Most of you don't have the liquidity to trade uh, over these numbers. You could argue, I don't know, there are no great levels here. Um, keep an eye on oil. Oil, not doing too much, sort of in this range, 69, 70. Pop up through uh, 70 is interesting, and the pop down through 68, 75 is possibly interesting. Maybe Aussie Cat's a better, better horse. Oh, look at Aussie. Aussie Pop last night. Have to have a look at that. Um, yeah. Got a bullish engulfer here in Aussie Cat after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down days in a row. I wonder what happened to Aussie. I got to take a look at that. That's sort of a change in trend there. That's kind of bodes for some risk on although 
there's a lot of talk about a lot of stocks to sell uh, for month end as we approach month end which is the end of this week so I wouldn't quite take this as a risk on Harbinger it's probably just purely an Aussie uh, Aussie squeeze anyway let's uh, let's keep an eye on um, CAD I think the easiest way to trade this is try and scoop some but down at 131 the figure and see where we are heading into the numbers and then of course we have durable goods um, what's that going to mean if we get a weak one in durable goods which I wouldn't say is likely but it's not unlikely I think euros your horse here um, this 111 level is calling as most of you know we think euro is heading back to 120 um, we've been sort of doing this little sideways dance here we got up to 110 12 down to 108.50 um, if we get a weak one today I think euro euro is your horse um, let's just see where we are closer to the numbers again very very boring markets but the, the simple trade would be just to buy up through 40 109.40 but looks like it's gonna be a very very quiet European morning not doing too much staying out of trouble is basically the theme and we'll take a closer look at this stuff in the European afternoon. Keep in mind also we have consumer confidence um, at 4 o'clock. That uh, also may have a factor, maybe a factor in moving the dollar. So same type of deal on weak consumer confidence. Uh, Euro top side is our horse. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I will talk to you tomorrow. Good luck out there. Ciao.